Hmm. Often imitated, never duplicated. That right. Your boy's back. The boss is here. Hey, look here. All the outside interference I got in here, I got to keep this shit just straight gangs around here. So, hey, we're going to keep this shit right good and quiet, my lady. But okay, that ain't got a damn thing to do with y'all. But look here. TTC, I'm back. Yeah. I done done a little more research. I done research on the damn TTC and there's a lot of people out there across the damn United States doing the damn thing. And rep your team and rep your motherfucking logo. Hell, I wish I'd have known about this a little bit earlier. Like I said, I just stumbled across it. That's yeah, right. But I got some people I need to address. I got these um ask my son. I asked my son about this shit, man, because damn it. I thought it was sneak dissing. How the hell did he say it? Sneak. What the hell is that? Sneak. What the fuck is that? You can say it. What the fuck is it? He say sneak dissing. I got motherfucking more videos out here. But they don't want to call out the voice. But they can call out the voice. Don't be afraid. Do not be afraid. You can, you can call my name out because what? What you afraid I'm going to come after that ass and I'm going to put a video out on you? But you right though. They're right. You is damn right. So you can keep my name in the hush. In the hush hush. Because god damn it, you put me out there, I'm coming at you. Damn it. I rep my city. Carolina Panther, Panther Nation stand up. That's right. All these chump ass motherfuckers out here talking this bullshit. Yep. Man, get the fuck out of here. I got this cat. And the damn thing about it, I was going on. I was coming on for these Atlanta fans. But I'm going to leave them for towards the end of the show. But I got this damn cat out there and, and goddamn another New Orleans fan. I think he didn't fail and bumped his motherfucking head. Believe that. Then fell and bumped his damn head. He said, let me get this correct. He said, the New Orleans Saints will finish first. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers will be runner up in the division. Second. The Tampa Bay Buccaneers second. Then he said, the Atlanta Falcons third. And then he came back and said the Carolina Panthers will finish dead ass last in the NFC South this season. <laughs> well, I about, fell, I, I about fell the fuck out. Either this cat don't know a damn thing about football or he don't know a damn thing about rosters. Uh, he don't know a damn thing about a damn thing. He's smoking too much of that good shit. That right. But I'm going to move on from that. But I just seen that and God damn it, I just had to put that out there. But I ain't calling no motherfucking names out. Because that sneak dissing, God damn it, you make it known. I'll come back at you. Now on to a real third motherfucker. Third, third is all get out. For some of those, they wouldn't call it third. But he a vet in the game in the TTC. A vet in the game. Some. What the fuck is his name? What the fuck is his name? Hold up, give me. Let me. Let me get his damn name. Hell, damn, my damn phone didn't turn off. But let me get his name. He'll pop up. His name is um Sports Live in the ATL. Sports Live and ATL. He trill. Because one damn thing I know. He remember back in the days when the goddamn 85 South goddamn rivalry was the best rivalry in the NFC South. For those that know, 
For all you peewees, when I say peewees, do you need the definition of peewee is a youngster? But the eight, the eighty five South rivalry consists of the Carolina Panthers and the Atlanta Falcons. And the only reason why that shit was re was re revived because of that quarterback Michael Vick out here for a while. That right. And he made some good points about how the hell goddamn and oh fucking two they went beat us they swept us and it was 78 to nothing that right the damn next year what the fuck happened in 03 what the fuck happened the Carolina Panthers whooped that ass went wild card and took it all the way to the motherfucking Super Bowl and lost the Super Bowl on a chump ass goddamn field goal thanks to Tom to uh what's that punk ass name not Tom not Tom Brady but John Casey he the one that fucked us at that damn Super Bowl. And that's been within the last 10 goddamn years. I got in told you. But I like, I like my man there because he a vet at it. And I could, I already know he going to come back and bring it. Because I'm here. And the voice ain't going nowhere. I know I didn't hear all these stories about Carolina Panther fans. I they get they're getting their ass kicked. Y'all, and now I know what Crow videos are. Hell, I'll make them. God damn it, because I ain't say we going 19 and 0 like some of these motherfucking some fans out here saying they going 19 and 0. But that's a whole different show. That's a damn different show. But it's a Saint fan that said that. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. But look the fuck at here. I'ma repeat. New Orleans, that shit didn't caught up with y'all, man. It's caught up. It's caught up. Y'all gonna have a damn year, man. Y'all can motherfucking just y'all can just try to pacify that shit and be like, oh, losing the head coach, all this and that, motherfucker. Trust me. Y'all got a running back coach, a offensive line coach being y'all head coach these first six. Hell. If motherfucking Washington come to the goddamn Mercedes being Superdome and kick that ass, I tell you the fuck what? Because they damn sure did look good them first three quarters. Because that's the only fucking thing I watched. The first three quarters of preseason. In the third preseason game. But if they come to New Orleans and kick that ass week one. Hit the panic button. Hit it baby. Hit it. Like a motherfucking woman walking up the damn street. And she might be on motherfucking Bourbon Street. Canal Street. Hell she might be on Peach Street. Hell if she in Charlotte she might be on Tryon Street. And a motherfucking car out, come out the damn dark and snatch her ass up. And she got one of them motherfuckers, she just hit the panic. Because you need to know, I need help. Because that ass, believe that, y'all chump ass going to need help. And then week two, baby, and I'll be in the building. And I'm going to have some good goddamn footage for y'all. Because 916, that right, that's our home opener. And y'all coming to motherfucking the phone booth, baby. Y'all coming to the phone booth, you damn Saint fans. Or you ain't fans. And we gonna dig off in that ass so motherfucking super deep and thorough. Hell, god damn it. I'm doing the motherfucking video from right there. After the game. Hell, it might be in my seat. So, you know, I'm you know, I ain't putting no videos out there in a while, but hey, a couple days, you know, but the voice is here. And I told you, I, hey, in my last video, I said I want the best shit talk it is. But don't send these little sneak disses out there, motherfucker. Them old sneak hates. God damn it, if you want to talk on the voice, you want to talk about the voice talking loud, hey, just call the voice out. Hell, the voice will make a video. Because ain't no puss here. Because I'm the voice. And I keep this shit just straight gangster around this motherfucker. Damn. But the voice is out. And like, subscribe, and do what the fuck you like. Because I ain't going nowhere. I'm going to be right here. And shout out to the TTC. And I'm happy to be a part of it. And thanks for all those that told me they wanted me here. Because God damn it.
I'm here and I'm here to stay. The voice is out. I get you chumps in a little bit. <laughs>